Good morning, students. Today we will read Chapter Eleven, Algorithm and Flow Chart. A computer is an electronic device which manipulates data according to a list of instructions and converts it into information or result. A set of instructions that directs a computer to perform a specific task is known as programs or software. Al algorithm. An algorithm is the first step to develop a program. It is a systematic and logical procedure for solving a problem. It is written in a simple language so that one can easily understand the step. A good algorithm helps us to write effective and efficient program. Let us consider some examples for writing an algorithm. Illustration one: Algorithm to buy a cake from a bakery shop. Step one: Take money. Step two: Go to a bakery shop. Step three: Select a cake. Step four: Get the cake back properly. Step five: Pay the bill for the cake. Step six: Return home with the cake. Algorithm two: Find the average of four numbers. Get four number to be added. Step two: Add the number to get their sum. Step three: Divide the sum by four. Step five: Display the result as average. Two, four, six, eight. Two plus four plus six plus eight is equals to twenty. Twenty divided by four is equals to five. So our answer is five. comes to next page flow chart a flow chart is a pictorial or diagrammatic representation of an algorithm it uses geometric symbols to represent various operations each symbol is used for a specific purpose in a chart here you can see a table given below with the symbol symbol name and the purpose the first is your oval that is start and stop box or terminal box what is the purpose to indicate the beginning and end of a flow chart rectangle process box to represent a process or action parallelogram input output box to obtain input and display output diamond decision box to test a condition and take a decision based on its result arrow lines flow lines to indicate the direction of operations in a flow chart circle on page connector to connect parts of a flow chart within a page polygon off page connector to connect parts of a flow chart on different pages now what are the rules of drawing a flow chart some guidelines to draw a flow chart are first a flow chart should be clear neat and easy to follow a flow chart is generally drawn from top to bottom or from left to right a flow chart must have a start box and a stop box only one flow line should come out from a process or input output box only one flow line should go in a decision box but two flow lines one for each possible answer should come out from the decision box two flow lines cannot be intersect each other in a flow chart comes to next page now let us consider the example of flow charts write an algorithm and draw a flow chart to get ready for school here this illustration 3 you have to do it yourself the flow start then wake up take a bath wear uniform have breakfast board the school bus then end try to do it yourself one more example is there that is decision making here also you have to try it yourself first of all you have to write the algorithm after that you have to draw a flow chart what if the phone of your friend is busy in this case you need to put down the receiver and try to call your friend later 
it involves checking a condition and taking a appropriate action in a flow chart a decision box is used to test a logical condition a logical condition always result to answers yes or no the flow chart flows in a different direction based on the answer the revise algorithm and flow chart to make a telephone call of your friends are this is your algorithm and the flow chart start pick up the receiver listen to the dial tone dial the phone number is the dial number busy yes talk when someone answer put the receiver back and then stop illustration 4 write an algorithm draw a flow chart to find the greater number between two number that is a and b algorithm read the two number a and b if a is equals to b display both the numbers are equal else if a is greater than b then display a is greater else display b is greater so we will do the flow chart start read a and b then is a uh, is equals to b then is a is greater than b print b is greater now yes print both the numbers are equal yes print a is greater and then stop comes to next page repeating the instructions loop now what is a loop a loop is a set of instruction that repeats itself continuously until a particular condition is satisfied a loop is used when a process need to be repeated a certain number of times again i'm repeating that repeated a certain number of times or until a certain condition is achieved now you have got it what is a loop loop is a process which is repeated again and again number of times see the illustration 5 let us draw a flow chart to concept a number that display its table start read number n c is equals to n print n into c c is equals to c plus 1 so is c is smaller than 10 then stop the part of the flow chart shows here represent the loop that is print n into c c is equals to c plus 1 is c is smaller than 10 the instruction of print n into c and c is equal to c plus 1 are repeated till the value of c is less than or equals to 10 comes to illustration 6 let us draw a flow chart to display the num names of students whose names begin with letter a b or c only from a list of 25 students so start read number does the name begin with a no does the number begin with b no does the number begin with c no is the list of the name finished yes stop then here is yes yes and the print name now comes to worksheet 11 tick the correct answer the symbol in a flow chart is called a off page connector the set of instruction that directs a computer to perform a specific task is called program the symbol for representing a process in a flow chart is rectangle the symbol of a decision box is diamond the general direction of flow in a flow chart is top to bottom comes to fill in the blanks with correct word a dash uses geometric symbol to represent various operations that is flow chart a terminal box is used to indicate the beginning and end of a flow chart that is terminal an algorithm is a systematic and logical procedure for solving a problem which systematic that is algorithm a dash is a set of instruction repeated a number of times or until a condition is achieved that is loop the various symbols in a flow chart are connected by 
flow lines. Write true T for true and F for false statement. First one, a process box is used to get input. That is false. An algorithm is always written in simple language. That is true. A flow chart depicts the flow of logic and right from right to left. That is false. On page connector is used to connect parts of a flow chart on a different pages. That is false. The decision box has one incoming flow lines and two outgoing flow lines. That is true. Thank you.